Hey, how's it going, everyone? Um, so 0.8.1 patch was released last week, and uh, with that came some changes to the defensive system, um, and uh, a few more mollus, three more mollus, two of which give blessings for um, the character stats, and one for item drops. Um, and um, the most notable um, change they made to the defense system was they added endurance. Uh, what endurance is is a uh, damage reduction which caps at 60%. Um, and that's tied to your health. So um, your endurance threshold is what you, um, you scale. So um, the higher endurance threshold, um, the uh, the quicker the endurance uh, damage reduction will kick in. So, for instance, um, if your endurance threshold is 500 health or 500, um, then any damage you take under 500 health will gain the 60% damage reduction. So, um, you want to try to scale that higher so that the damage reduction kicks in at a higher health um, level, right? So, but for Lich, it's a little different because we play um, with the Death Steel with low life. So, even if your endurance threshold is like 400 per se, um, you know, you're still going to get the damage reduction when you hit Death Steel because, you know, even if you have a 1200 HP health pool, then um, it, the moment you hit Death Steel, then the endurance uh, damage reduction will kick in, right? Um, so with that change, uh, with the endurance and uh, the, the removal of set resistances, um, dodge now is a hard to gear because it competes with all those. It competes with endurance threshold and competes with, um, you know, elemental resistance, physical resistance, uh, all the, you know, the, the various resistances. So you kind of have to tinker around with um, a gear planner on Tunk Labs and try to which I have a link below. Um, you're gonna have to try to balance that out um, with uh, with the blessings that you can get to uh, cap your resistances and still try to get a good amount of dodge, right? And also your endurance. So um, that's the main challenge for this particular patch as far as gearing goes. As far as abilities and skills, it didn't change much. Um, what you see in the background is my uh, my push to 400 plus 442 um, waves, um, and this was done with actually my gear from the last patch. I didn't actually change any of the gearing. Wow, this one is crazy! Look at that snipe, boom, 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 boom. those birds, man. Anyways, um, so uh, well, this part is really dicey. But anyway, um, uh. Let's get into it. I'm going to rip right here with that one stun. <laughs> rip. Alright, here we go. Okay, for passives. Um, we're not going to gear or put as many points uh, as we did in Vitality this patch because simply they introduced endurance and they made um, health, I guess, tied to that uh, little health a little less valuable in this case because now you have to try to get to get your endurance threshold up to a certain point and you can only get so much endurance so pretty much like I think if you get really good rolls you could probably get like a thousand right and plus the uh, blessing from the new monoliths or a thousand something like thousand one hundred um, but I mean that's gonna take a lot of gearing and farming and stuff so um, you're gonna not do as much health, but again, uh, with Lich, you can do since you're running Death Seal Low Life for this build. Um, your endurance threshold, even if you don't have that high, it's actually going to be okay. Um, anyways, uh, passives. Sorry, I went on a tangent there. Um, eight out of eight points uh, for damage. They buffed the necrotic passive resistance on here. It used to be 24, I believe. Now it's 40, so it's a little easier to max out your necrotic resistance. And uh, the remaining points just put four points here because there's nothing else um, that's, you know, useful. Nothing in Necromancer. Um, okay, for the Lich Tree, this crit build. So 
uh, remains larger than changed. We want uh, 8 out of 8 here for the um, increased damage tripled when you're below 35% health, and you will be below 35% health when you're doing your death seal. Um, 7 points in here, um, because again, there's nothing up here that's actually worth much um, to get, so you get some additional spell damage leech. Um, 5 points here for the int. I chose 5 points here instead of, um, well, I got the 5 points here for the necrotic damage because death pulse or death seal does the necrotic damage. Um, and 1 point here is worth more than 1 point intelligence. We're not going ward, so the ward retention from the intelligence is, it has no value in this build. So, um, so 2 int only gives 4% more damage on, um, uh, damaging skills for for the lich right and then um, since uh, most of the main damage comes from necrotic um, one point here is worth more right because again 12% necrotic damage per point here so uh, that's the reason for that and then we skip everything here we'll go straight to an int and uh, spell damage again because there's nothing else in this roll that's worth it this is uh, you can play with this this has more value, but it's actually a lot more dangerous to play this because the health drained actually is pretty, uh, it hurts pretty bad, especially um, if you're trying to retain Reaper um, and you don't have mobs to kill, you're going to get knocked out of Reaper form between waves a little too fast with this. So I don't like taking this node. Um, okay, you don't need, you know, the damage on here is very high already, so this is not going to help you in arenas or in anywhere actually, so. Uh, you want 10 out of 10 here for the penetration, um, 5 out of 5 here for everything, it's good, like the all cast speed and the crit chance, uh, more crit chance, and crit multi. So, since we're going crit, we're going all out here. 10 out of 10 here for, uh, flat necrotic damage to spells. Um, you want 10 out of 10 here for less damage taken on physical and necrotic on potion use, um, it helps a lot in higher arena base, not so much in, well, I guess in higher monos now, because uh, with the empowered monos, when you have, uh, when you go like 30, 40 um, echoes in and you have a lot of damage modifiers, uh, it just helps, right? Well, against physical and necrotic at least. Uh, you want fire modify here, because, well, cast speed, move speed, and damage leached, which is important. Uh, we're doing one hand and callus. We're doing one and callus, so we're going with this five out of five points here. And then lastly, the five points here um, for damage leech. All right, and that uh, covers it for the passives. For transplant, um, this is the tree I'm going to have for transplant until they make um, any changes in the future to transplant. If if they do at all. So if they don't, then we'll leave this transplant tree the way it is. Um, so for leveling, you want to just go this way, one point here for the cast speed after transplant, and then you want to max out your detonations first. So um, one point here, and then three points here, going to two points here, and then two points here. So you're going to have uh, a total of four detonations on arrival and two detonations on departure and then follow that up with um, I like to get the th kill threshold um, because 20% is really high and it's really, it's really good against um, well everything right um, after that um, probably just get your um, three additional rip blood casts on transplant um, this is nice um, to pair up with uh, splatters just keep in mind that the three ripple casts if there's only a single mob um, it's only going to hit that mob once with ripple it's not going to hit three times anymore this got changed a few patches back so just keep that in mind um, and then this node right here for detonations leave pull blood this is for snaring purposes if you're kiting um, it's only really I, I, I use this node for uh, arenas mainly um, for all this is kind of whatever um, I'm, I have one point short here, and the last point I just put in the area, area of the ripple, uh, of the, uh, the detonation. And, uh, that covers it for transplant. 
Okay, Ripplet. Um, for leveling, you're going to get a splatter chance here um, as your first point. That way you can get uh, AoE. Um, and after that, you probably want to um, just put one point here because you're not going to have fast enough Caspi in the beginning to actually benefit from this node very much. And then get your five points here um, for the uh, additional or actually more damage, um, multiplicative damage increase on Ripplet. Um, keep in mind, this only affects Ripplet, it doesn't affect the splatter damage. If you want to do splatter damage, then those down here for more splatter damage, but we're not going to go that route. Um, and then after that, you want to get the Caspi here into um, the three points here for more cast speed and less mana cost for Ripplet. Um, and then um, you could probably max out a, a 5 out of 5 here for double splatter on Rip Blood and then just put 3 out of 4 here for the remaining points. So that's what that's what Ra would take for this build. For Reaper Form, um, we're going to go up this route first. So one point here, four points here for increased damage, increased crit chance, uh, two points for swiftness on kill, um, and then three points for cast speed. Um, why do we want cast speed? Uh, mainly for when you're out of, uh, when you don't have death seal up. So when you're out of death seal form, you're generally spamming rip blood. So uh, the faster cast speed, the faster more you know more damage you put out, and uh, helps to sustain during the off times. Um, and then after you up, down up here, you go, um, I will, if you're leveling, I would just go one point here first and then get two points in reap cooldown. Um, this helps you zoom, zoom a little faster in, uh, throughout Maulis. And then, um, because you're not going to have that much crit gear in the, initially, it's going to take some time to actually gear up to crit. Um, so, uh, you, you probably get this five out of five crit multi last. Um, that's it for Reaper. Alright, for this patch, we're going back to with um, Bone Curse again. Um, ever since the nerf uh, in 0 0.8, I've no longer, this Illusion of Pain is no longer a node that's usable. Um, so instead, uh, it still does okay damage. Um, okay is relative, obviously, but. Uh, it's nowhere near as what it was uh, OP as before, but it's still usable, right? Um, so what we want to do here is start out with three points here for more damage. Um, you want to put two points here into Brittle Bones. The kill threshold, you don't really care too much about. Um, it does multiply as a 12% more damage. Um, but you want to put two points here and then one point here. The explosion, um, when it occurs, it actually is really good damage. Um, so uh, do that first um, and then you probably want to have like two points here but in the beginning you don't need this right now because um, there's no cooldown so you just you know cast it again I'll group them up if you need to um, so and you want to put one point here and then after that you want to go down this route so four points into area one point into uh, mark for death and then um, before you get into this node you want to put a couple points into cursed limbs uh, because what this node does is it uh, the mark of uh, the bone curse only hits like it's only gonna hit a, one mob when you cast it. It's no longer an area. Um, but uh, if you if you have this node here, um, you'll retain the um, bone curse on your rip blood casts for three seconds, right? And your splatters so um, what that does on a pack of mobs is when you do a transplant and the splatters on pack of mobs it basically applies uh, the bone curse onto all that pack of mobs on that set of mobs and generally when that happens it creates a chain effect so like if um, a mob dies and it procs this and usually the whole whole uh, group of mob dies um, so transplant with uh, 
with mark oh with bone curse and uh, these nodes it's actually really strong transplant by itself is actually already really strong damage um but it pairs really all well with red blood and and uh, bone curse um after that last three points just put into um shred armor shred um because why not right <laughs> yeah you hit so much it, in, in one transplant that this actually applies quite a bit, bit of armor shred see so like uh this is the one transplant you can see all those numbers pop up so every time it pro it one t every time the bone curse um hits it's gonna apply well it has a 60 chance percent chance to to shred armor so um okay and that covers it for bone curse <laughs> and we have death seal um this is by far my favorite skill for the Lich, um, mainly because it does the most damage, and uh, it also can help um, increase your damage for other skills too. Um, for leveling, by the time you get this, you should be level 49. This is your last skill that you'll get as you're leveling. So um, at level 49, I believe you have five or six points. Um, when you first pick up the skill. So um, you're gonna put two points here, one point here in haste uh, on release, and then um, dump the rest of your points in the doom call. This is what you want because this is the multiplier for um, the wave of death damage that you do. And uh, this is gonna have up to 12, you can have up to 12 stacks of damned on yourself. And each stack of damned is 80% more death wave damage. So it's a total of 960% more damage. And that's why it's so powerful. Um, just keep in mind, this actually does damage to you. So if you're not in um, Reaper form and you're just in regular form and you Death Seal, you're going to take damage. Um, oh, actually, I'm leeching, that's why. Okay, so if you're not hitting something and you're not leeching, you got to be very careful um, because damned will actually kill you if you're not uh, paying attention <clears throat> so um, anyway um, after back to the <laughs> uh, leveling up after you get this uh, these four points you're gonna go into get five points here in order to get the pulsing um, without the pulse you only have um, when you actually activate that that seal is not nothing's gonna happen um, until you actually wait for um, the stacks of damage to build up and then you do one release. Uh, when you do that one release, it's going to do a quite a bit of damage. Um, but uh, it's not practical. You can build it that way. I've done it before for like one big burst and it looks really good on a dummy because um, if I didn't have these nodes, my uh, <laughs> my death seal or the, the, the way of death will be critting for like... Um, well, one big crit for like 2 million or something. Because these pulsings are already critting for what, 500k, right? So, um, but again, for more practical purposes, you, you're going to want the pulsing um, and for models, for arenas, just, you know, in general. Um, and then after you get that, then you work down to uh, the low life. So um, this will... Um, this node will bring your health down to 33% when you activate Death Seal. Um, uh, but by doing that, you're gonna be in, um, you'll you'll be within your endurance um, threshold, um, and then so you take 60% less damage, um, and then you also will take advantage of the um, the Lich node here, the Dance with Death. Um, so your increased damage will triple. Um, when you're below 35% health. So has a couple benefits um, by taking this node. And also obviously you'll take advantage of this node, uh, which um, increases your damage uh, by 5% per 3% missing health. So you'll get about 330% additional damage from this node by doing uh, low life. And keep in mind that this increases the damage of all your skills. So um, when you're low life and you do rip blood, for instance, you're gonna do, you know, it's gonna have 330% additional damage on your rip blood and everything, cause it's, it's sheet damage, right? You're gonna get um, the sheet damage or the spell damage. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, okay, so uh, finally, uh, I do have the plus two death seal uh, on my helm. Um, you need a tier five in order to get plus two. If you get tier four only, it's only have plus one. Uh, it's probably not as good um, when it's only plus one. So uh, you want to get tier five on the helm if you're gonna um, something that you want to aim on getting or crafting. So. Um, for the final points you want to put for duration and then um, whatever else that you get you want to get for frequency here um, if you happen to get a tier 7 helm uh, you, that's a plus 4 on death seal um, then you're just going to dump all your points in here the rest of it um, and that covers it for, uh, for death seal for gearing um, I'm going to have a Tunk Labs uh, gear planner um, in the YouTube link below um, for, for the ideal items, right? Um, obviously my gear right now is not 100% ideal. Um, I don't have that much time to farm and min-max my gear. Um, but uh, you can refer to the Tunk Labs uh, link on below. So what I have currently is you want to build crit. So we're doing crit damage uh, and crit chance here. And that's why you're using a one hand um, wand and uh, and the scroll. And with um, with the current patch, they actually changed it so that this the wands give a minus three mana cost uh, spell, a mana cost of spells. So um, it's actually better. And this the wands are better this patch um, than last patch. Um, what I put on here is. Uh, Ideally, you want spell crit chance, not just regular crit chance. Um, but you know, I didn't get lucky on that, so um, it rolled as crit chance a tier five. So I just went with it. Um, What's well, crit multi, and then chance to slow, chance to chill. Uh, for the chess piece, um, I had this pre-rolled with vitality and I think dodge rating. So I just um, I just went with it. The main thing is they changed the Immortal Plates Implicits. If you notice, it used to be um, a chance for Glancing Blow, but now it's 50, uh, up to 50% Endurance. So um, the Implicit is nice so that you don't have to actually spend another suffix to get your percent uh, Endurance up. Um, and uh, you still want to get Dodge. So Dodge became suffixes, both um, the increased and added Dodge. So <laughs> Um, yeah, those both became prefixes, and uh, I went with two percent damage leech as uh, two percent damage leech while transformed as the other primary prefix. Um, you just need one. Um, ideally, I would just get more damage uh, and drop the vitality. Um, so I'll, if you're going to keep it as necrotic damage, then you just probably want to use um, transformed. So you just probably want to use an necrotic damage while transformed onto the ch other prefix. So damage leech and necrotic damage. Uh, for the helm, obviously you want, preferably if you can get uh, a plus two to death seal. Um, if not, if you're just leveling, you're not going to have the you know the option to do that. Um, again, this is more of an end game build. Um, but if you're leveling, um, I don't know, just take like take whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter when you're leveling. Right. Uh, as you're leveling, you, you want the cooldown reduction, you want the dodge, you want the endurance threshold, or crit avoidance, depending on how much crit avoidance you need. Um, but uh, leveling gearing is a little different than uh, this is what you want to get like towards the when you're actually um, you know higher levels, 65, 70, 75, 80, like um, something you want to work towards. Again, um, if you don't, um, if you're not because this is level 58 plus, right? So, um, again, as you're leveling, it, honestly, it doesn't really matter what you have for the helm. You, you probably want to just get some defenses, some dodge, or uh, probably some resistances. Um, it'll help you more. You want this cooldown reduction because yeah, the lower the cooldown on transplant, the faster you can transplant and um, more mobility, more damage, right? Um, the neck you want to have the depending on how well for for uh, for me I went um, the bone amulet for 
liches because um, it gives uh, implicit physical and necrotic resistances and uh, with this you pretty much automatically cap your um, necrotic resistance because your passive gives you 40% already in your base class and then um, and then with it with this neck you just need 35 uh, an implicit roll well 35% uh, you want the physical resistance obviously because well you, you need to get your resistances on the implicits in order to try to cap it uh, on your suffixes um, for the offhand you need to have a red scroll uh, which is level 62 plus because it gives the, the implicit crit chance um, and then I went with spell crit chance uh, I have this as cast speed I don't really you don't want cast speed there you preferably want uh, crit multi or just more crit or spell damage or something um, it, it this came with a, a tier 6 dodge so I just rolled with it um, and I put some uh, elemental resistance because I needed it and uh, I put the tier 4 spell crit chance on there <laughs> um, gold rings are more valuable this uh, for this patch because you know now you're you need to, the way to cap your resistances you need to use implicits to try to cap it so it rolls up to 18% now um, so having gold rings is uh, more beneficial than movement speed rings in my opinion now so um, Elemental resistance. Uh, you, you you typically want crit avoidance on your rings uh, as a suffix, and you want to get tier fives, um, and then get your resistances first. The damage and the crit chance on the su on the prefixes are just bonuses. You don't really need it when you're leveling, because it, it, again, it's more important to actually um, get your resistances uh, capped and your crit avoidance capped and uh, your defense is to be more um, so you can survive to actually do damage, right? So, um, typically, that's what uh, you want to put on your rings. You need to go rings for this patch. For the belt, um, dodge and potion use is a lot more valuable because it's so much harder to get dodge on suffixes now. Um, but uh, this is actually from the past, the previous patch. Um, so, <laughs> It's technically legacy, but uh, <clears throat> anyways, it doesn't really matter because I would still roll the same three, and then the fourth um, prefix I would just use I don't know more damage or something. Um, again, check check the tank labs for what what I would put. Uh, it's probably more necrotic damage. This 45 health used to be a uh, the hybrid health is a legacy for suffix, but um, I mean it's not benefiting my build too much right now, so. Um, you want the dodge, so the two dodge suffixes, and the dodge um, on potion you use as a prefix, and then the second prefix just go for the more damage. The gloves you want to use um, engraved gauntlets because again, this the implicit you want to try to get a higher endurance implicit. That way you don't have to craft in, um, endurance um, on your suffixes, or um, you know, you can get it from all this as one of the blessings. Uh, it, one of the blessings give um, gives uh, percent endurance, right? So this is from uh, Spirits of Fire. Uh, from Spirits of Fire, I would actually not get this the percentage endurance. I would typically want to get the the dodge percentage because you know I still feel more comfortable with higher dodge, um, and then I'll probably just craft the. Um, so I'm 9% overcapped here, so I just need to find 10% somewhere on the suffix on one of the endurance um, for the endurance percentage to uh, to cap at 60%. So um, you start out 20% endurance base, like with no equipment. Um, so you just need 40%. And right here, if you get 15 here uh, on the implicit on the chest piece, and then 15% on the gloves, then all you need is a 10% on a suffix somewhere. You probably just craft it. Um, instead of one of the thresholds you probably just want to put endurance percentage um, I had a tier 7 dex on here I figured why not because it gives dodge flat dodge it's 48 flat dodge and uh, I figured might as well right 
that's equivalent to like a tier four roll. And that's on a prefix. I, I don't really have anything else I want to roll on a prefix for gloves. Um, uh, but uh, again, I mean, it, it's up to you. And there's, I guess you can get more crit chance, right? Or int. But again, int doesn't have it much value for for the lich, in my opinion. Um, so uh, I, I just went with it. Um, Boots, movement speed is a prefix now. Um, you want uh, endurance threshold, dodge rating, and more dodge. All right. And then um, the implicits, you can, th I think a couple boots are um, either fire res, cold res, or stun. Um, stun duration. Uh, so, I, I mean, I guess you could try to use the res resistance boots too. Um, that's up to you for the implicit. But uh, I had this from the previous patch, and I just didn't feel like changing it. Um, and then lastly, the relic. Um, with this patch, it uh, introduced class-specific relics. So this is a, a acolyte relic that gives increased necrotic damage as implicit. Um, and then I put uh, crafted more necrotic damage and uh, spell crit chance with the resistances I was missing, which is physical and void resistance. Again, the resistances mainly just depend on what you get from drops, right? And you gear towards it, and you put you you know you can add suffixes and play around with it. So these are not set in stone. Um, a lot of the resistances on the suffixes, um, and then the dodge and uh, crit avoidance and endurance thresholds and things like that, you kind of just want to, you know, it could be on any of these suffixes, right? You could just kind of mix and match until you. Um, Again, it's RNG, right? So if you get some good drops, then you craft on it, right? And lastly, for the idols, it didn't change from last patch. Um, you still want cooldown re uh, reduction transplant and um, increased damage while transformed. So I still, I feel like it's still best in slot for idols, at least for this build. Um, and um, I, I think it's just best in slot for Lich, you know, overall. I don't think any other idols are actually remotely close to as good as these, this combination. And uh, I think that's that's it. I actually went to a little too lengthy on this item's description. Um, but uh, yeah. All right, and uh, that's it for this video. Um, sorry that it took a little longer than I anticipated, but um, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, got something out of it and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below um, again uh, this you know Lich is still my uh, most enjoyed class and uh, you know currently it's still in a very good place um, as you can see we are currently rank 1 Lich and uh, 440 waves still still viable right <coughs> alright so um, I'm going to leave you here with uh, a little bit of monolith gameplay. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. Take care. See ya.
my soul. No, the flame is fading. Fuck. You will be snuffed out. Flames consume you. The strongest burn the brightest. How bright will you burn? 